Good afternoon. Today's oversight hearing will focus on the unmet water and wastewater service needs of Native communities. Water is essential for all communities' public health, especially in the midst of the pandemic, but also for education, jobs, and economic development. Many Native communities cannot provide basic water and sewer connections for their people, and other communities may have aging water infrastructure, which makes the use of these uh, this infrastructure challenging. Both need additional investment. The need for more investment in water infrastructure is by no uh, means unique to tribal land. In my home state of Hawaii, for example, recent flooding and landslide damage has severely compromised dams from the old plantation days, placing lives and property at risk. But the federal government has a special trust responsibility to ensure the general wel welfare of native communities, and the trust responsibility extends to providing access to clean and reliable water. Today we will hear from witnesses that continue to face challenges in meeting the basic water needs of their communities. I look forward to hearing about what Congress should consider in a potential infrastructure bill because we have a real opportunity to build a bipartisan consensus around supporting the water infrastructure needs of Native communities. With that, I'll turn to Vice Chair Murkowski for her